Now the, the second part of this research is uh, the same ebooks and electronic devices at the University of Salamanca, Perception and Use. Uh, as I said before, I will be for online audience, I suppose. This research is uh, within the project Technological Literacy at the University Devices and Applications for Research. And we have tried to analyze and diagnosis of the degree of technological literacy at the University of Salamanca. Uh, yes, uh, little data. Uh, repeat, the survey was electronic from April to July this year. 31 questions, 7 sections. <coughs> the tools use uh, Google Drive, SPSS statistics, and Microsoft Excel. Uh, we have used a sample with students, professors, and other professionals in the university. And uh, we have reached uh, 905 answers. And in this part, uh, our analysis is about uh, two sections of reading devices and electronic books. Okay, so what we wanted to study was the use and access to electronic books in the University of Salamanca, in the academic community, and also across the data with the preferences and frequency using electronic devices in the same community. Okay, and now the results we, we think is the most interesting. Although more people are aware of the use of electronic books, the number of non-users is still very high, as you can see here. 40% of students and 32% of teachers do not use electronic books, never. Another interesting result is talking about most used devices. Generally speaking, uh, it could be said that the percentage uh, of the most used devices is very similar, as you can say. But when we did in the numbers, besides computer, 31%, uh, the other three has um, similar percentages, uh, 24 a smartphone, 23 tablet, and 22 a reader. However, a fact that is uh, interesting of uh, this data is the relation between the use, the most used devices, and the evolution of these devices along the time. So, the computer was the, the first available. Uh, however, there was a lot of critics, uh, most of all about reliability. So, to get closer, to the experience of reading printed books, it became the e-reader. After it, uh, the tablet with a lot of functionality, and after that, the smartphone, very mobile. What we see with this data is that, despite of the technological evolution, looking to be more adapters from portability, connectivity, reliability. To read books, we are talking about read books, not papers, not other documents, books. Users still prefer the device who appears in the first place, the computer. Analyzing the frequency in use, the results are similar. It's, the, it's interesting to say that despite the existence of devices uh, uh, generated exclusively for reading, and readers with uh, ink. Uh, users prefer computer. Uh, you can see here uh, the first part of the graph. The most frequent readers, those who read several hours each day, once a day, some days a week, they prefer computer to read books. These results might affect that the computer is a very, very has a lot of power as a <coughs> working tool. So I'm working in my computer, so I read the book in the computer. Or it would be a consequence because of lacking digital skills of the users in the other devices. About digital formats, the most used is by far PDF. Uh, the, the rate is, uh, I think, uh, 
is more than the sum of the all of the others. And it's interesting another data. The rate of ignorance or lack of use in APAP format or HTML format. Why? Because this rate is too high for a standard format. They are a standard format. This data may indicate deficiencies in information literacy, so we all have paid attention to that, or a lack of alternatives offered by publishers or other information providers. Something to take into account. About the perception, uh, the perception of users indicates that both ebooks and uh, paper books are valuable, but they think ebooks are uh, valuable and are great, but they don't use it. 26% uh, of users admit to never use ebooks, and 34 use them uh, less than an hour per week. Uh, about the purchase of electronic books, only 24 of the users buy ebooks. Reasons: 51% uh, of the reasons are related to economics. About something about economics, and uh, we have compared that with the reasons given by users in the survey of cultural habits and practices in Spain, 2014-2015. And uh, economic savings was there 66. So we can say that it is an element that influences a lot in users. If we thought about how to search a book's first options are Google and library catalogs, but when we are talking about the way of access, uh, we find that, for example, the library they prefer to download and uh, free options. And what we have found is that library loans is one of the first to search an ebook, but is one of the last to <coughs> access to the book. What is the problem? Comfort, immediacy, lack of contents. These are some of the answers in the national survey. Maybe we, we could perform in that more deeper. And about those uh, conclusions, about the use. Uh, Information literacy is, is totally necessary because uh, we have found that the students have made progress in academic level, bachelor, master, doctorate, also advanced in the use of electronic books and electronic devices. Uh, and it's curious that it's a very high uh, concentration of positive answers about reading e books in uh, electronic devices in young women between uh, 18 and 24. About the access, uh, the general search engines and library catalogs are the first options. And uh, users prefer multi platform systems and free download. We are talking about a free legal download here. And uh, why, what is the electronic device they use with uh, more frequency? The computer. And this project has uh, some future research lines. We have shared uh, those. About digital competence, areas of knowledge, age, about other preferences, uh, selection of reading applications, not devices, to deeper a bit more, and about the behavior to make an analysis of the causes that can act uh, as a motivation for synthetic behaviors like uh, download free 